today's lesson is on trigonometry and we are going to look at the sine rule. Our objectives for this video are know the sine rule for finding missing sides and angles, identify the triangles where the sine rule can be applied, finally find the missing sides and angles using the sine rule. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mahmood here, helping you do better in maths by giving you tips and tricks on how to revise and going through maths revision on YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. Did you know the sine and cosine functions are used to find the location and distances in the GPS system of the mobile phone? So next time you are traveling somewhere and if you're using a GPS, or a sat nav on your phone then remember the sine and cosine rules so what is the sine rule the sine rule is a over sine a equals b over sine b equals c over sine c now what do these capital a and lowercase a actually mean now the lowercase a represents the sides of a triangle and the uppercase a represents the angles in a triangle now we use the sine rule to find missing sides and angles in a non-right angle triangle. Previously we have seen for a right angle triangle we use either Pythagoras to find a missing side or we use the trig ratios to find a missing side or angles. So the sine rule has been split into two different parts. One of them is to find the missing sides which is a over sine a equals b over sine b equals c over sine c and to find angles we write it in this form which is sine of a capital a over a equals to sine b over b equals to sine c over c all you have to remember to find the sides the lowercase is the top and to find the angles the lowercase is at the bottom and that's a really good way to remember it to use the sine rule to solve problems which involve two sides and two opposite angles. Now in order to find a missing side or an angle using the sine rule, you need to be given two sides and two opposite angles. So this lowercase a represented in the formula as this lowercase a. And the capital A is opposite the side given. So the angle B is opposite to the side B and angle C is opposite to the side C. And also remember, you need to be given two sides and two angles in order to use sine rule and find a missing side or angle. So let's identify the triangles where the sine rule can be applied. Let's have a look at the first one. You need to have a non-right angle triangle in order to use the sine rule. So in this case we have a right angle triangle and we've been given two sides. Therefore we cannot use the sine rule. In this case we're going to use the Pythagoras' formula. Number two. We have an angle opposite side. And we have a side 15 and opposite side angle, which is a right angle. So we cannot use the sine rule here because it is a right angle triangle. Let's have a look at number three. We have an angle and an opposite side, which is seven. We have a side five, but we've not been given an opposite angle. We have a side eight, but we've not been given an opposite angle. Therefore, we cannot use the sine rule. Let's have a look at number four. We have an angle, 92, and opposite side is 41. Yes, we have an angle in the side, opposite side. We have a side 28, and we have an opposite angle B, which is missing or which we need to find. So we have an opposite angle, side, opposite angle, and a side. Therefore, we can use the sine rule on this triangle and it is not a right angle triangle. Now it's your turn, have a go at these questions, identify on which triangles you can use the sine rule. Pause the video 
and have a quick go at these questions. Okay, I hope you had a go at these questions. So let's have a look which triangles we were able to use this sign rule on. So was number five. Yes, we can see because we got an angle and opposite side, an angle, 95 and opposite side. So we can use the sign rule on this one and the missing side we need to use. So we need to use this sides sign rule. Next one is number one. So we have a side 41 opposite angle 92. We have a side 28 opposite angle B. So we're finding an angle this time. So we need to use the sign rule to find a missing angle. And number three, we could have used the uh, sign rule as well because we have side 5.1 opposite angle 100 degrees. We have a side 3.6 and we have a opposite angle which is B degrees. So we had to find the angle B and in order to do that, we have to use the sign angle formula. Okay, and that's it. And every other question, we cannot use the sign rule. So our next objective is to find the missing size using the sign rule. First of all, we need to identify whether this is a right angle triangle or not. And we can see this is not a right angle triangle. Next thing, we need to find out whether we have the side and the opposite angles. So we have side A and we have the opposite angle 55. We have side 12 and opposite angle 72 degrees. So we have two sides and the two opposite angles. So we can use the sine rule. So we're going to use A over sine A equals B over sine B. And before we do that, it's always good to label the angles with A, B and the sides with A and B. So this side is already given as A. The opposite angle will be angle A, capital A. Side 12, we can label this as B and the opposite angle, capital B. Now let's plug in the information into the formula. So A over sine 55 degrees, which is our angle A, equals to B, which is 12 centimeters over sine 72 degrees. Now all we have to do is rearrange it and calculate the answer. So we have to multiply both sides by sine 55 and that will give us an answer of A equals 12 sine 55 degrees over sine 72 degrees. So if you type this in your calculator, you should give an answer of 10.3356897. If you round it to one decimal place, that should give you an answer of 10.3. Before you round your answer, make sure you double check to find out whether it is asking you to write round the answer to one decimal place, two decimal place, or one, two, three significant figures. Let's have a look at a question where we have to use the sign rule to find a missing angle. So, first of all, identify whether the triangle is a right angle triangle or not. And we can see this is not a right angle triangle because we don't have the square in one of the corners of the triangle. Next, check whether you have a side and opposite angle. So we can see we have a side 17.1 and opposite angle is C. We have a side 19.2 and opposite angle, which is 29 degrees. So we're going to use the sine angle formula. Now, once you identified the sides and angles, you need to label the sides. So if this is angle C, we can say this is the side C. And it's 19.2. And 19.2, we can say this is the side B. And the angle is capital B. Okay, just like the C there. So we know this is angle C. Now let's just plug in the information into the formula. Now in this case, we can use this section here. So let's write down this C first. Now because I'm finding the missing angle C, I'll try to keep the C on the left hand side, which is easier to solve later on. So let's write down sine capital C over C, which is the side 17.1 centimeters equals to 
sine b, and the angle is 29, so sine 29 degrees, over 19.2 centimeters. Now, let's rearrange our equation. So, multiply both sides by 17.1, sine c will be equal to 17.1 sine 29 degrees over 19.2. Let's find out the answer. Now, when it comes to this section here, you can either find out the answer of 17.1 sine 29 degrees over 19.2, and then find the inverse of sine. And if you want to find it in one go, you can do that as well, and you type it all in your calculator, and that will give you the same answer. So I'll do it in two different steps, but you can choose whichever you prefer. I'll show you both. So sine C will be equal to, and if I type all this in my calculator, that will give me an answer of 0.4317835668. Now all I have to do is find C, so I have to do sine inverse one, type that in my calculator, and then that will give you an answer of 25.5808 degrees, or if you round it, that will give you an answer of, to one decimal place, 25.6 degrees. Now, we use separate steps for this one, but you can just type it all in one go, and if you type it all in one go, this is how your calculation would look like in your calculator. So we have C, so I'm just going to carry on from there. C equals sine inverse one, and you can just write everything else in the bracket, 17.1 sine 29 degrees over 19.2. And if you type all this in, it should give you an answer of 25.6 degrees to one decimal place. And again, double check your question, whether it's asking you to round it to one decimal, two decimal place, or into certain significant figures. Now it's your turn to have a go at two of these questions. Pause the video and have a go at the questions, and I'll put the answer on. So I hope you had a go at these questions. So the first one, you should have got an answer of 7.36. And the next one is 31.7 degrees. So let's quickly recap of the steps that we need to remember in order to find a missing side or a missing angle using the sine rule of a non-right angle triangle. To find this missing side, we use the formula side on top, so A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. To find a missing angle, we need to use make sure the angles at the top, so sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C. Next step, identify the triangles where the sine rule can be applied to make sure it's not a non-right angle triangle. And then substitute the sides and angles, then solve to find the missing sides or angles. So, the next step is to make notes, make sure you write down all the key points that was mentioned on this video. Secondly, head over to www.whitethesky.co.uk for some exam questions and have a go at those and finally watch the next video which is on finding the area of a non-right angle triangle using the sine rule and finding a missing side and angle using the cosine rule that's it for today don't forget to subscribe and please do hit that like button to let me know whether this video helped you thank you mr mahmood helping you do better in maths